My name is Chris Pearl. I'm from the Philippines. I'm living with my family together with my five years old son. His name is Liam. Initially, I thought it will be easier for me to go to the UK given that I am a registered nurse in the Philippines. But I haven't thought about uh, the impact of my experience gap since I've been working in the UAE for the last nine years. But it's not healthcare or nursing related stuff. So I tried applying uh, to an agency but the experience is actually the, the problem. They cannot offer a job because of my working gap. So that was the challenge that I'm really facing until I found Ian. I've heard Ian so while I was browsing uh, on Facebook. When I saw the ad, I have to pay like around 69 pounds. So I was like, I have nothing to lose. This could be the door to open for me going to the UK. After the webinar itself, I went to my husband and says like, I think we will be going to the UK very, very soon. It's a very clear process, a very structured, so there's nothing for me to, like, to worry because Ian's got this holistic business model of providing training, solicitor advice, and they also have like skilled worker specialists. It's all services under one roof. Imagine I started working with Ian in January and in four months time, I got my visa and not just that, I also got my family's visa, including my boy. I was like, no one, wants to believe that we actually have the visa like i don't care i have the visa for my family so it was incredible i couldn't find the word exactly how to express how happy we are can you check can you check for me maybe it's it's, it's just a dream and my husband was like no 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 we really have this stuff in here so it's really amazing like i couldn't still believe it even when i was already here because the other agency would normally advise us like you can go first and then at once you're settled that's the time you can bring your family but with ian's uh, there was no second words you can bring your family yes you can uh, after a week time I, they even came to belfast to see how how are we i mean our accommodation and even get in touch with our employer one of the experience that I'm getting when I got here in the UK is also the support that I have been getting from my my sponsor. They have helped us uh, find our accommodation, finding the right car for me and even the right insurance, uh, making sure that I'm all well. And I'm really happy that Ian find me one, which has guided me and given me everything that I need. So for those who are aspiring to move to the UK, don't lose hope, don't ever lose hope. Trust the process, pray, and make sure to enroll to Ian's. They have all the necessary services that you need. It's really such a wonderful experience, and I'm really thankful. I can't be here without Ian, so thank you so much. And hi. All right. Hi, everybody. Marhaba. This is Michael, and welcome to our newest episode. Uh, welcome to Marhaba Mondays. This is our pilot episode for today, and I'm very, very excited. And whew, whew, wow, uh, it's been over. Uh, I think two months now since we've started uh, our business here in the UAE. And I, all I can say is that UAE 
has been really, really great. Um, the reception of um, the public is really, really good. Um, I've found out that there are a lot of people here in the UAE who is um, looking for opportunities. They've, they've spent um, years waiting for the right people to come in, uh, the right agency to, to, to appear, uh, and the right um, company to help them achieve uh, their dreams of getting to the UK. Now, before we start, um, I would like to say hi to all of our viewers. How many viewers do we have now? All right. We've got 10. Come on. Uh, share this um, live stream, guys, because there are a lot of things that I'm going to tell you tonight. Okay. <clears throat> now, first of all, the, what, there's one reason why you should um, tune in and finish this program because by the end of the show, uh, we're going to do a live um, question and answer portion and you can ask any questions that you have. Just don't make me answer if uh, your girlfriend or your boyfriend will marry you in the future. I don't know that. Okay, if you will get a raise by the end of the month or you'll get your promotion, I don't know that. Um, but anything uh, under uh, processes, um, immigration rules, uh, documents that you need in terms of uh, completing your requirements for your UK visa application, we can answer that. Okay, and uh, another reason why you should be uh, tuning in tonight is because we are promoting to you a way or a contest that we've made up so that you can become part of our six months program to become eligible and employable in the UK in less than six months for free. Yes, right? Uh, yes, you heard it right. That's free. And the only way that you can find out how you can be part of that contest is if you um, tune in to the show, all right? Now, remember, by the end of the show, we will be answering a few questions, okay? You don't have to uh, attend the webinar yet, and you don't have to pay me anything yet, okay? So we're going to answer your questions later, okay? Now... Um, okay, Whew. really excited tonight. Now, uh, another thing that uh, I want you to understand is on the 3rd of December, we are going to have another live event here in Dubai in Sofitel Hotel, downtown Dubai, right? If and when you are not able to join it, or maybe you want to, you know, um, join a little bit earlier, we are going to have a live hybrid event, live hybrid event, hybrid event in Sri Lanka. Yes, UK is now going to Sri Lanka, right? First we've got Dubai, now Sri Lanka, right? Uh, well, you know what, exactly. Um, the UK team is supposed to go to India and then to Sri Lanka. But because of some immigration rules or some... Um, immigration, um, how do you say this, um, policies, uh, we, well, you know, um, with regards to COVID-19, um, we decided not to proceed with India for this month, yeah, uh, but we will still continue our plans to go to India in the following months. But for now, uh, we're going to go to Sri Lanka, we're going to do the live hybrid event, or the hybrid event, okay, and Sri Lankans, we hope to see you there. But before that, uh, I'd like to invite you again, those of you who are in Dubai, here in the UAE, we invite you to come over our hybrid event, okay, this coming 3rd of December. And here is our invitation. Video, play.
Right. So that is our invitation to those of you who are in Sri Lanka, right? If you are um, watching from Sri Lanka right now, comment on the comment section and um, we'll greet you live. And hopefully we will see you there in Sri Lanka on the 27th of November. Now, for our 3rd of December event, watch this. Yeah, this is live, so, you know. <laughs> How many? Okay. Are we ready? Okay. And now. Not yet? Okay. All right. Let's, let's. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, hi, Sadham Abdul Kalam. Hello, Janela Irene. Marhabi Monday. Um, Priska Chiramba watching from Botswana. Hi, Priska. And we've got <clears throat> Elizabeth Dairit. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> we've got Montil from the Philippines. Hey, everyone. Right, so we are getting lots of live viewers from all over the world, which is really, really good, because not only are we catering to just the UAE or Sri Lanka or just London, we are reaching all over the globe, right? Uh, we've got people from Africa, Zimbabwe, Ghana, Nigeria. Uh, we've got people from Asia, which is the Philippines, um, India, Sri Lanka, from Singapore. Um, you also got some people from uh, Europe, actually, uh, people from Malta, people from Norway, uh, Finland and Poland, uh, who actually wishes to, um, how do you say this, migrate instead to the UK, right? So, okay, we've got a viewer here. Hi, Marisol. Hi, Michael, watching now from UK. Hooray! I, I've seen your photos, Marisol. You, Happy, and um, Marianne. Wonderful. And I'm really, really happy uh, that you guys are now there. I mean, wow, watching from the UK. Huh? How's that? Really, really nice. Thank you, Marisol, for tuning in tonight. Um, <laughs> Happy Gamera, watching from Scotland. Yay! Wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Our viewers are now in the UK. These people, by the way, are just like you, watching our live shows from before. And now they are in the UK. Fantastic, isn't it? Right. Okay. So, um, Portilin. Hi, um, Porti, Marilyn. How are you? Uh, I, 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 I hope to see you again soon. And thank you very much for the donuts that you've brought to our office um, some time ago. Um, next time that you are going to visit with another friend who wants to enroll with the program, don't forget, you're free to come in. Just bring the donuts. <laughs> okay? All right. <clears throat> Martin Kimani from Kenya. I want to migrate in the UK as a social worker. Well, Martin, you're going to know more about that and how you can do that. So just tune in with the show. Okay. Now, <clears throat> who else do we have here? Navi from India. Hello. How are you? We've got um, Twinkle. Hi, Twinkle. How are you? Watching from Baguio, Philippines. Win win. Hello, win win. Um, Wow, so many people watching from the Philippines now. Okay, right. So, okay, what else do we have here? Okay, now, so, while we are... Sorry. Okay, so, while we are waiting for that video to play, let me give you some quick announcements, okay? As of the month of November, 
we have got at least 11 arrivals in the UK. 11 arrivals, okay? We've got 25 visa applications submitted for the month of November, and we're just half of November, right? We're not even done with the month of November. And we've got 29, 29 visa approvals, right? Hooray! Okay, and most of all, we have got 62, right? 62 candidates or members who have passed the IELTS UKVI just for the month of September, right? 60, actually it's 62, right? And my handwriting is pretty bad, I'm sorry. I can't even understand my own handwriting. How bad is that? Okay, 62, right? 62 Momentum Club members who have passed their IELTS UKVI through our help and guidance. Hooray! Fantastic. <clears throat> so, um, apart from that, um, again, uh, if you think that IELTS is something that, you know, you're scared of because um, it's an English language test, I'm not sure if I'm going to pass, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it, uh, that's okay, um, because with Ian's, we provide you with the whole training, right? So, now, don't forget, on the 3rd of December, uh, we are going to have another hybrid event in Softel Hotel in downtown Dubai. This time, it would be um, 1 p.m. UAE time. But registration starts at 12 o'clock, right? Now, I understand that um, that week is going to be a long weekend, right? And that's why we put and we decided to put the event in the afternoon so that you guys would have more time to rest uh, in the morning because I know that um, Thursday night you're going to be out with your friends, you're going to be um, drinking and partying, and I don't want to spoil that, you know. Um, I want you to have fun with the long weekend, but on Friday I will see you there. So here is our video. <laughs> of December at 1 p.m. in Sovetel Hotel, downtown Dubai. Now, if you guys are wondering um, how you can join our contest, which we have prepared for you, go to our Facebook, Ian's UAE, and see the mechanics on how you can become part of our six months program that will help you become eligible and employable to work and live in the UK in less than six months right so all you have to do is right all you have to do is number one like and follow our ian's uae facebook page okay number two you need to film yourself right this is you know if you're fond of doing tiktoks um uploading your videos on facebook or instagram whatever doesn't matter film yourself right and answer the following questions number one why uh, do you want to go to the UK? Number two is, um, why do you think Ian's is the best partner or your best option for you to be able to go to the UK? Film yourself answering those two questions. It should be not less than uh, 30 seconds. Uh, upload it in your social media. Tag um, Ian's UAE Facebook page with the hashtags um, magicians, right? And Ian's UAE. Okay, we will announce the live. Um, oh, by the way, you need to join the 3rd of December event for you to, to be able to qualify uh, for this contest. Why? Because we will announce the winners on the day itself. And if you are not um, on the event, by the way, we are getting to, right? 
we are getting two winners, one from the live event um, participant and one uh, winner from the um, online attendees. Okay, so if you are going to join live or you're going to join in person, you can have the chance to win and be part of our program to be able to become eligible and employable in the UK. Cool, huh? All right, so moving forward, okay. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, we've got... Uh-huh. Let me see here. <clears throat> okay. Now... Now, everybody, uh, for those of you who just came in, stick around because by the end of the show, you're going to have a chance for me to answer your questions, okay? So don't raise your questions now. Just listen to me, yeah? Because right now, I'm going to be um, discussing with you three reasons why you should attend our paid webinar, okay? Now, first things first. Uh, the webinar is, um, is, is an event which we um, do online, so you need to attend via Zoom, okay? Uh, and this has been ongoing since the start of this year. Because of the webinar, hundreds and hundreds of people have been able to fulfill their dreams to go to the UK. Now, just a few months ago, we've started doing hybrid events, hybrid events, okay? And people are able to attend in person, right, or attend online if they can't um, you know, meet us in person. But you know what? It's always good um, to meet people in person, right? It's always good to attend live events because there's tons of opportunities. You've got freebies, by the way. Uh, and those who uh, recently joined our, uh, our hybrid event, they've got plenty. They've got T-shirts, they've got caps, um, they've got mugs, uh, and all sorts of other things. Uh, of course, free food as well, yeah? <laughs> so um, that's that. So, um, but again, you know, you need to invest, okay? You need to shut out some money for you to be able to attend our webinar. Now, in the, in the longest time, I mean, in the past six, eight months, um, people are still asking, why should I pay for your webinar? There's tons of webinars out there, right? That is for free. Correct. There's lots of webinars out there, free, free of charge, yeah? And they can just log in any time and, you know. Um, but then again, uh, I've, I've managed to, to speak to some other people who have attended those free webinars. And guess what? They are not satisfied. You know why? Because it's not clear, doesn't have substance, doesn't have clarity. And at the end of the webinar, by the way, they charge you money. Yeah, those are their hidden agendas, okay? So why do you pay or why should you pay for Ian's webinar? It's very simple. Number one, we've got substance, substance for you, right? We're going to get you informed and we will educate you. In fact, by the end of the webinar, you'll be thinking yourself as an expert. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, Michael have said this, have said that. Uh, Michael have, have, have mentioned about this, about that. I think I can do it by myself. I think I can actually apply for my own skilled worker visa, right? Cool. And that is the goal, right? So, number two, we give you clarity, okay? Clarity from point A to point B, okay? You will not miss a step. You will know your processes. You will know your documents. You will know immigration rules. You will know your timelines. Okay, what are the what are the jobs that you um, can apply for, right? What are um, the costs that you will incur during the process? Um, what type of employers or sponsors um, can you give to me? Yeah, and not only that. Uh, we'll be able to give you clarity in terms of um, how can you be eligible and employable. You've been hearing uh, about this um, for the last two, five minutes or so, employable and eligible. Now, 
eligible means you need to be able to show your skills qualifications or your skills requirement, experience requirement, and your qualifications requirement. What are these things? You know, we'll give you clarity on that if you attend the webinar or the hybrid event, of course, right? And lastly, of course, is that uh, we are a family. And I've been hearing this for um, some time now. I mean, we have started this hybrid event uh, in the hopes of getting people, um, you know, become more informed, more educated, of course, uh, inspired at the same time with the success stories that we bring to them, yeah? But at the end of the day, they tell me, Michael, what you've done for me is something that is beyond my expectations. I, I joined the webinar, I've joined the program, you've got me an employer, but I didn't think that you guys would be doing so much more for me. And I thank you for that, right? And then they become part of our family. I mean, Ian's is a big family now. We are over around 1,000, 1,200 members and still growing. And if you want to be part of that family, a family where people care about each other and where opportunities are endless, join the webinar or join the hybrid event this 3rd of December in Sofitel Hotel, downtown Dubai, right? Now, there are a lot of um, factors or things that you should consider in terms of, you know, attending this hybrid event. Number one is uh, the event or the live event is going to happen at 1 p.m. UAE time, but the registration would be at 12 um, noon. Okay, so make sure that you eat your lunch. We're going to provide you with some drinks, food, you know, for refreshment by the end of the program. Okay, now the event or the venue is very accessible, right? From down the metro, you just need to walk maybe two minutes going to the hotel. If you are outside of the UAE, no problem. Okay, you can access our webinar through Zoom. Okay, and that's very, very convenient. Okay, now let me talk to you more about um, what do you say? Um, more about the webinar. Okay, but before that, uh, we'll take a break. Okay, and we will get back to you after uh, this video. There's no sound in the video. No sound in the video. No sound. <coughs> <coughs>
Sí. Go. All right. Um, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there were no sounds uh, for the video. I'm sorry about that. Um, but we'll fix that. And then the next time we're going to play it, you're going to be able to hear everything that these um, previous attendees have to say about the event. Okay. Oh, hi, Gibbs. Um, drink some water. Yeah, I'm drinking right now. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, and um, can you see this, right? Huh? Ian's cup mug, yeah? If you want one of these, right, um, register and pay for the event, or the hybrid event, and I'll make sure to get you one, okay? Is that a deal? Cool. Right. <clears throat> so, ladies and gentlemen, um, before we move forward to question and answer portion, right, um, start typing your questions, okay? Um, I'm going to read them one by one later, at least five questions, uh, and uh, we're going to talk more about um, those questions later on, okay? So, now, for those of you um, watching, uh, I think uh, there were some questions um, regarding the announcements I made earlier, right? Now, uh, again, uh, just to uh, catch you up, there were 11 arrivals in the UK just this month of November, and there's more coming, okay? Um, there are 25 visa applications submitted, right? And there are about 29 visa applications granted, okay? This is a mix of um, applicants and, of course, their families, because with the end, you can travel and fly together with your family once you've got your visa, okay? So for those of you watching, um, yes, we process um, visas not just for the applicants or the main applicants, those who have received the offer, but also for their whole family, yeah? We've got tons of stories about that. Again, head on to our Facebook page, Ian's UAE, and you'll see lots of stories, lots of photos, lots of um, UK arrival alerts, with the whole family, right? Oh, and by the way, um, if someone knows uh, Diego, Diego is actually um, one of our um, star members, <laughs> okay? Uh, Diego is actually 50 plus years old. I'm not going to say how much, uh, how old he is, but he is 50 plus year, uh, years old. Because uh, a lot of us are asking, is there an age limit? to work in the UK, and we always say no. Can you prove that? Well, of course we can, right? We've got Diego, who's 50 plus years old, and not only that, huh, she, uh, he is traveling together with his wife and his daughter, right? And actually, they have already arrived yesterday in the UK. So, Diego, uh, I wish you were uh, watching us right now, but you know what? I'm going to call you sometime this week, uh, and I want to feature you in my live show uh, this coming Friday, okay? And share with us, share with everybody your story and how you were able to bring yourself and your family to the UK, all right? So, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Come on, guys. You can actually um, start typing your questions now. I'm going to start answering your questions, okay? And before that, uh, let me just remind you again that we have an ongoing contest on how you can become a part of our program, six months program, that will allow you to become eligible and employable in the UK in less than six months. The details of that contest is in our Facebook page, Instagram, okay, either... Uh, and log in, uh, like and follow our page so that you will not miss any announcements or posts or contests or discounts, hmm? discounts. 
uh, for our upcoming event. Okay, so let's go to the comments now. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Sadham Abdul Kalam, is OET exam results can you be uh, can you use for skilled work and migration purpose if I am a nurse but I want to work as a senior carer? I think Sadham, you, I, I, Sadham, I know you. Yeah, I know you. I remember you. Um, I think you attended the webinar or the hybrid event um, last month. But to answer your question, the OET is actually specific for nurses, okay? So if you're planning to become a skilled worker in the UK um, outside of being a nurse, a registered nurse, then you can't use your OET. I'm afraid you can't use that, okay? If you want to become a skilled worker applying for a senior care job, for example, you need to have your IELTS UK VI, okay? Now, um, you can actually take IELTS UK VI general or academic, yeah? If you want to become a registered nurse in the UK, take IELTS UKVI Academic, okay, or OET. Now, um, since you are, I, I think you're having some problems in getting your required um, score for your English test. So, uh, piece of advice, you know, um, the senior care path is the quickest way to get yourself to the UK. Take IELTS UKVI General, um, you only need a, a low band score. No need to worry about that. And that will enable you to fulfill one of the requirements um, for your visa application. Okay. OET, specific for nurses. IELTS UK VI for all skilled workers. Cool? Okay. So, mm -hmm -hmm. hi, Martini from Kenya. I want to migrate in the UK as a social worker. Well, Martin, uh, there is a way for you to be able to come to the UK in less than six months. How? Join the webinar or join our hybrid event this coming 3rd of December in Sovietel downtown uh, Dubai. If you are here in the UAE or if you are outside of the UAE, you can still join us through live via Zoom. Cool? Okay. Uh -huh. Who else do we have here? Okay. Gibbs, how long can it take for me to get an interview for UK? You know what, Gibbs? Um, if I'm being honest, it's a case-to-case -case basis. Each will have their own journey, okay? We've got tons of stories yeah, um, people who just joined us and then after a month got an interview. Some people, three days after, right? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah, three days after. Some of them one month, two months. Yeah, but it all depends on your qualifications and your skills, okay? If you are a nurse, if you're coming from a healthcare background and you're applying as a senior carer, we can get you um, to get an interview in a month or two, right? But, <clears throat> but of course... Um, you need to be able to satisfy the requirements before we, we are able to put you forward for an interview. Why? Because um, most of our clients, they are ready, okay? They are ready and therefore the clients or the, the, the applicants that we want to put in are applicants that are ready. They've got their documents ready, um, they've got the experience, they've got the certificates, everything, yeah? Okay. Um, um, from Maricon. Hi, Sir Mike. What if the application is ongoing and then I get pregnant? What would happen then? Okay. Um, most, are, are we still okay with the line? Yes. Yeah? Okay. What if the application is ongoing and I get pregnant? Well, the only thing that you need to do is continue with the program, okay? That's one. Uh, number two, if and when you get um, uh, an offer letter, uh, you need to disclose this to your employer, okay? Um, there are a lot of cases wherein people did not disclose that they are pregnant, 
okay, until they are in the UK already, okay, and that causes a lot of problems, right? Um, I'm not saying that this will um, hinder you from getting employment. No, okay, no, because uh, we don't discriminate uh, with, with in terms of you getting pregnant. But of course, um, you need you will need to be transparent in order for us to be able to support you better. Uh, and at the same time, uh, your employer would be able to support you as well. Okay? No issue about that. Um, but, you know, try not to get pregnant until you get to the UK. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I have my caregiver training in Singapore. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to have OJT because of COVID. Is it possible for me to apply as a senior carer? Uh, yes, it is possible. Nothing is impossible, right? With Ian's, nothing is impossible. Um, so the thing is, um, the caregiver training that you received in Singapore probably is not UK accredited, sadly, okay? But uh, that does not stop you from becoming eligible and employable. Okay. Now, regardless of your educational background or um, regardless of your work experience, uh, we can help you become a senior carer or a healthcare worker or whatever that you wish uh, to do in the UK uh, in less than six months. Okay. So don't worry about that. Um, how can you do that? Join the hybrid event. Okay. <clears throat> Um, okay, what do we have here? Uh, okay, from Prisca, what qualifications and experience is needed for a carer? Uh, it's very simple. You need to be able to evidence that um, you've got the experience Whatever it is that you wish to apply for, uh, you need to have evidence that you're doing that, you're in that same capacity for the last six months, okay? That's the experience. Now, uh, qualifications, there's lots of qualifications that uh, you need to be able to make sure that you can provide evidences, um, but don't worry, we can help you with that. Uh, we've got training, we've got certifications, all UK accredited, and therefore it will make your journey to the UK much, much easier, okay? If you want to know more about that, join us on the 3rd of December, or you can actually join the 27th of November event. Um, again, also, this is a hybrid event, so you can join that event in Sri Lanka even if you are outside of Sri Lanka, okay? Um... Win-win. Hi. Um, I'm looking forward to Mr. Diego's way of taking his whole family in the UK. Is there any age limit for family members to take in the UK? Um, so if you're saying that, um, if you're asking about the age limit for your dependents, okay, um, your spouse or your husband uh, can be, it doesn't matter what the age is, okay? Uh, that is your dependent. But kids, kids, right? You can bring your dependents, your children, uh, if they are below 18 years old. Okay? So, um, we've got Stella Titiranga. I took the Alice general exam, uh, not the UK VI1. Can I use it for UK visa? Uh, unfortunately, Stella, you can't use it. Um, there is a reason why there is Alts UK VI, and it's um, specifically for your UK VI, oh, sorry, for your UK visa application, okay? If you did not take Alts UK VI, you need to take it. Otherwise, um, your visa application will be denied, okay? Um, how many weeks preparation for review? Uh, for IELTS, for a skilled worker. 
Um, it's up to you. Okay. Some people, they take a months of preparation uh, to get confidence uh, and for them to be able to um, feel that, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready, Michael. Let's do it. I'm going to book my arts um, exam and I'm going to do it after three months, some of them four months. But you know what? Um, if you can read, if you can write, if you can understand, if you can speak in English, book it right away. Okay. And you need to look up um, the schedule available um, from the country or wherever place that you're in right now. Because um, some countries it takes um, uh, just weeks. And there's, you know, an open slot for you to, to, to get your exam. Uh, in some other countries, it would take you two to three months before you are able to book your IELTS UKVA. So make sure that you plan ahead, you research, and, you know, um, get to know the availability of IELTS um, exam schedule in your country. Okay. Okay, what else do we have here? <clears throat> um, Annie Capitu, do you accept Narek Actis English language proficiency for senior carers? Um, I think we do. Okay, I think we do um, accept that, but the thing is, um, doing Narek. Okay, well, if you already have it, that's good. Um, but we don't really recommend that because um, sometimes it's inaccurate. Uh, it's still best to do IELTS UKVI. Uh, but to answer your question, um, I think we can, uh, well, not me, but the home office, yeah, would accept Narek Ectis um, English test. Now, the thing is, you need to make sure that that would be equivalent to CEFR um, level B1 at least. Okay. Um, who else do we have here? And um, you're welcome, Win Win. Okay. What is the exam schedule for out here in the UAE? Uh, Janella, unfortunately, I do not work with um, the British Council. I do not work with IDP. I work with the Ians, uh, and therefore, <laughs> I do not have any idea whatsoever uh, regarding the schedule. Uh, of uh, the IELTS here in the UAE. You can look it up on the internet. Um, I think um, there's almost a daily um, schedule, okay? Um, it's just a matter of um, choosing which type of test. Um, is it, be, is it um, a written or paper-based test or computer-based test, okay? Now, remember, if you're going to take a paper-based test, the results can come out in 15 days, okay? If you're going to take computer-based tests, you can expect the results to come out in just three to five days, okay? Cool? Wonderful. Okay, now, uh, all right, I think that is enough for questions. Uh, and I think... Um, if, if, again, guys, uh, our Mondays are dedicated for announcements, uh, for updates, um, for, you know, whatever it is that I feel to say or whatever it is that I know would entice you um, uh, in, in, in getting to know the progress of our candidates uh, in our program. And at the same time, I'm dedicating at least um, 15 to half an hour uh, for, for you guys so I can answer uh, your questions that you have in mind, okay? That is every Monday. Or maybe I'm thinking if I should do it every day. I don't know. Type your comments below. If you just want to see me every Monday, that's fine. If you want to see me every day, that's fine. Yeah? So I want to know, okay? I want to know. Come on, guys. Right? Now, um, okay. Okay. Uh, Right, last question here, and then we'll play that video um, that we show later, uh, late uh, earlier, uh, which did not have sounds. Okay, last question um, from Sunshine Gardose. Uh, Hi, Sir Michael. Do you still uh, accept applicants, sir? If I passed the UK via already before joining Ian's, of course. Uh, doesn't matter if you pass or not, you book or not. Uh, you have this and you have that. 
doesn't matter really. Um, we welcome everybody. Okay, but um, if you want to join the, I mean, there's no, there's, there's zero requirement for you to be able to join the hybrid event. Okay, zero. Okay, zero. Uh, you don't need your passport. You don't need your IELTS. You don't need anything for you to join the um, event. Cool. Cool. Right. So um, now that we've answered your questions, okay, again, let me invite you to the upcoming um, hybrid event, the third hybrid event here in the UAE on the 3rd of December. And here's the video. Um, the next six months yes. okay i can already see that you are a part of ens with the mask and the t-shirt yeah but apart from that i really think that it, that this journey is mine because um first i won the ticket the free seminar because i won the ticket and i got a shirt and yeah i really think that it is for me become friends since i spoke and then um without telling about the details about her uh, her life, I know the life with her is not been easy. So, but I was inspired of her story, and I was so happy that she shared her um, success with me. We have Sunday with us. He is already a part of a Momentum Club. So, Sunday, how do you feel being a part of Ian's Momentum Club? Uh, seriously, it's amazing. Uh, Ian's is a one big family that you don't you don't really want to miss. It's a family that you need to move close to. They are the ones that will make your dreams to come true. I'm very glad to join Ian's. Momentum Club is a success room. You just have to get to know the webinar first. Get to register yourself for the webinar. Then after the webinar, no one is going to tell you to register yourself for the Momentum Club. Trust me, you will enjoy it. And the first six months, you will see yourself in the UK. And we're back, everybody. 
Now, before um, we end the show, let me show you something here, right? Um, this is Marisol. You probably saw her uh, in, the, in the video that we just played. Now, this was just um, a few weeks back, okay? And I can't really, uh, oh my gosh, I, I was just talking to her. We were just eating dinner together with the whole team. Uh, and now she is in the UK uh, with her employer. And the, uh, her name is Marisol, right? And if you can see um, with her journey, he start, she started, um, she attended the webinar uh, last April, okay? That is April 17th. And she joined uh, our program the following month. If you look at the whole journey, right? Hi, Marissa, how are you? <laughs> I can see you, right? Uh, if you can see, there's one, two, three, four sponsorship interviews before she was able to get an offer from a sponsor in the UK. Four, right? Now, I'm not sure what, you know, I'm not sure how you, I'm not sure how that's going to impact the way you see us. But the thing is, we just don't give up on you. Okay. We don't give up on anybody. Right. Um, and now, Marisol, hello. <laughs> uh, I know I still uh, got that eye bags that you told me. Uh, when you watch me during live shows, I'm working on that. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy you're watching now from London. And uh, hopefully I can interview uh, you again and happy live from London. Okay. Now, um, well, this has been fun. And I'd like to thank you, uh, everyone, for um, being with us tonight. Our very first um, live episode for Marhaba Mondays. And um, again, this show would give you all the announcements, updates from Ian's group, both in UAE and in the, uh, in the UK, and hopefully sometime soon from Sri Lanka and India. Okay, right. Good night, everybody, and thank you very much for watching us tonight. I'll see you next Monday.